hello friends welcome back to auto development tutorial video so uh, we were uh, talking about the relation between models in the last video uh, we discussed about the many to one type of fields so uh, another type of uh, relation is one to many so uh, it's a virtual relationship and uh, it's uh, just opposite of many to one it, uh, it behaves like a container of uh, records, a collection of records. Okay, so uh, let's uh, get into uh, the developments, how we can add this field and how it will, uh, how it will act in our models. Okay, so uh, let's get into our models file. Uh, here. Uh, we are adding a course IDs, uh, sorry, uh, session IDs under our course model. So condition for a one to many field is we have to provide the model that we are going to connect just like a many to one field. Okay, so here in, this is a many to one field we just created uh, in the last video. So uh, responsible ID, uh, the relation uh, model was rest out users. Here it's a open academy session because we are connecting uh, the sessions that are come under this course. Okay, and uh, uh, as a difference from uh, many to one field declaration this uh, one to many field have a another uh, related field attribute we have to pass that is course id in this case it's a course id it's uh, the field that is comes under this model okay so uh, it's a uh, it will be a many to one field okay so uh, you can see that we have that field here course id many to one uh, it's, we already created that in the last video so uh, openacademy.course is connected uh, using this course id so uh, we need a many to one field in our target record okay so um, a one to many field requires a many to one field in our target record uh, here uh, openacademy.session is uh, uh, that uh, this is model this model is we are going to uh, connect with so we need as uh, I uh, we need a many to one field uh, in open academy dot session that is the course ID that is connected with the uh, our this model open academy dot course so uh, we put the course ID here and uh, we put a string is equal to sessions and uh, uh, it is uh, not different uh, with uh, uh, normal field definition in XML uh, in user interface. It's just like the same field. So we are going to add uh, that field into our user interface. So we need uh, we created a new page under our notebook for these sessions and uh, field name is equal to session IDs. So uh, it will be a list of sessions that comes under this course. So uh, to show that uh, list we put a tree definition how uh, the uh, how that uh, list will look like. So uh, we uh, add that tree tab here we put a registered sessions field name name and uh, instructor id so uh, this is uh, will look like uh, we have a, a page you see when uh, we have uh, pages in our course form we have a description page and uh, we have a about page in between we will have a sessions page and uh, under that session page we will have a list 
okay so um, open academy courses this is what we have currently okay description and about now uh, we added the field in our models and uh, we have this uh, updation in our form view uh, let's check about uh, what this change will bring into our add-on okay let's go to apps You can uh, you can uh, have many examples in Odoo for this uh, one to many fields like uh, uh, the order lines of sale order and invoice lines of invoice, purchase order lines and uh, timesheet lines in uh, uh, tasks etc. Okay, you can refer those uh, areas. You see, uh, we have a list, and uh, if I create a new session under this uh, course zero, name session two, save. If we go into the courses, you can see. Okay, so. Uh, this is how uh, we create a uh, one to many field so a different kind of uh, relation method uh, between models and i hope you enjoyed the video uh, thanks for watching have a if you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any odoo implementation or customization in your business drop your request to info@cybrosis.com